Hello there guys, hi and welcome to another episode of Ask Sam, the show where you guys ask me the questions and I answer them. We've got some great questions lined up this week, I just really can't wait to answer them. And um, as always, after this episode, I'll be looking straight into more questions for episode 3, which will air next Wednesday. So, let's start off, shall we? And I just want to make it absolutely clear again, if I forgot to ask you a que if I forgot to answer your question, keep trying, because there's no doubt if you keep nagging me enough, I will answer it. Um, like shout-outs, not everyone will get a question answered, because there'll be so many, but I will be trying to do as many as I possibly can. So, let's get jiggy with it, as I like to say now. Questions. Question number one. Nathan Annadale, Annadale says to me, how do you choose what questions to read out? This is a great start um, question. Basically, I um, go through my list and I choose. You know, I obviously choose them. I'm like, will this be appropriate? Will they like it? If I think that the public, if I think that you guys will like it, I obviously put it in into my little organisation box. Pepsi's back. And um, I put it in. If it's a little bit too rude, then I don't put it in. If it's something that I have never even heard of before, then I just don't want to put it in because I look like a right idiot asking me, um, talking about something that I've never even heard of. But, um, yeah, I picked the best quality questions, which I think you guys will like. Next question. Maximilian Mann. He sent, sent me a question last week, and um, he's sending me one again today. You can send me more than one question, guys. Um, snog, marry, avoid. Oh, good ones they are. Jessica Alba, Megan Fox, or Scarlett Johansson. Shit. It's hard. No, not like that. Um, well, it is actually quite hard. Um, oh, oh, Jessica Alba. Oh, God, she's so fit. But then so Megan Fox, but she's a lesbian. Um, oh, school. Ah, all right, all right, all right. I'd avoid Jessica Alba because she's got a bit of a wang eye. It's not her fault, but I've got a wang eye as well. Um, oh, snog Megan Fox and marry Scarlett Johansson. That way, if I marry Scarlett Johansson, I can do everything with her. That would be amazing. Next question. Ryan Abraham, ideal girl. My ideal girl for me is someone that can make me laugh. Um, blonde, presumably, but I don't really mind anymore. Um, someone that can make me laugh, someone with a good personality, and, um, you know, someone that will just let me be me around her as well, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, she'd be the perfect girl for me. So, if you're out there, someone that can make me laugh, someone that's just whatever hair colour, just, I don't really like it too short. Uh, don't like short hair. I, I, they're all right, short hair. Some, I just never have really had a thing for short hair. I don't know why, but... You know, if you're blonde, brunette, or whatever, then I love you. And gingers. I've got a real love for gingers now as well. Um, so, yeah, I don't mind, really. Someone that can make me laugh, someone that makes me happy, and someone that doesn't mind me being me around them. So, yeah, perfect. Sophie Lord. Who is your number one stalker? You are. Next, Ashley Welch. How do your friends react to your YouTube stardom? Do they get a different image of you? Do they think differently of you? No, they don't. Um, well, I obviously still got on with them. I loved, I love my friends a bit. Um, people have talked to me a lot more now. That is what I can say about YouTube. Ever since doing them um, How to Treat Men video, the girls have just rolled in. Blah, 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 wants to be a friend. Look at them, are you fit? Yep, except... No, nah, I, I don't do that. I'm quite fair with who I choose to add. Um, but you know, they don't really react to anything, they find my videos funny, um, I get on really well at school now, it sort of made me a bit more confident about myself and sort of found out who I really am, if you know what I mean, because I didn't really know, well I knew who I was, 
but then as soon as I did YouTube videos, I knew exactly who I was. I wanted to be an entertainer. And um, I think my friends now respect that more. I think they know, uh, you know, they know that I'll do silly things. Like, I've asked out so many girls at, at my school. It's been unbelievable. They know that I'll do silly things like that. Um, and they're just, my friends don't really react to anything. They just, because I'm Sam, they know that I'm going to do something stupid. So, yeah, sort of my, my friends like me doing my videos. And I, they find them funny as well. So, hello to all of my friends, which is everyone. Zach King. Arms or legs? If you had a choice, what would you get rid of? Arms or legs? Shit. Why ask me this? Correct. I need my legs to walk, but then I do stuff with my arms. Man material stuff. Oh, God. I'd have to go up. I'd have to go with arms. I would need to walk. I don't know why, I just need to walk. I suppose I could get rid of my arms, because I'd have metal arms instead, so I'd learn how to use them, but I would always need to walk, I think. Um, Nathan Annadale again. If you were a girl for a day, what would you do? <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. See what boobs are like. Next, Anthony Richardson. If your life was turned into a movie, what actor would you play? That is a good one, because I have no idea who I'd play. Um, these questions just keep getting better and better. They really, really do. Um, I would play... Shit. Ooh. Robert Downey Jr. Now... Why I picked him is because he's funny. No, 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 no. I thought of him. 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 Johnny Depp. Um, I like to think I put enthusiasm into whatever I do, and that's exactly what Johnny Depp does. I just love to play him for the day, you know, or the role. I just love to put all that enthusiasm into what he does because all his movies are fantastic. Whatever role he is in, he plunges himself and is just brilliant in whatever role. And I think I'd like to do that. You know, if someone gave me a task to do, I'd put my all into it, if you know what I mean. And I think that's why I'd want to play Johnny Depp. So, yeah, I'd play as Johnny Depp. Carla Smith. What's the best dance move to attract a lady with? Yeah, um, the straddler. Found him. Go around the club. Oh, you've spotted her. Reel her in, baby. Reel her in. Tame that tiger. Whoops. The straddler. Basically, pretend you've got a lasso. Search for the girl or boy in the club. Find the girl or boy. Lasso. And you will have the ride of your life. Or the um, starter, which is... Smooth criminal. This is called the, that's called the starter. So you put one hand out like that, another hand out like that, and just walk towards them nice and cool. Just be like, hey. That's how you talk to them to, to go on with. Okay, next question. I can't even say this guy's name. I meant to have a challenge to say, it's basically, can you say my name without messing it up? No, I can't, but I'll have a go anyway. Mr. Michael Alexandros. Mara Fetis. Fetis. Michael Alexandros Mara de Fetis. No, I can't. Can't. I gave it a go though, mate. Max Smith. Still up for that Essex House remix? Yes, I am. So give me a shout whenever you need me, mate. Dean Ruth. If you had the choice between tits and chips, what would it be and why? I love chips. Oh. Chips and boobs are actually quite similar because chips don't really all taste the same and boobs aren't the same either. Like some are small, some are big. Oh dear. Oh god. I can't actually think to be honest. I'd go for boobs. 
What? What? Did I say boobs? Oh god, I don't know! Oh, this is a hard one. I would go for... Tits. Tits, tits, tits. I love them. That's why. I love them. But I'd also have some chips on the side as well. Tasty. Jack Tinnegate, can you spread the news on my Facebook page? Of course I can, mate. Um, I will put a link to the uh, to your page on the description below, buddy. Okay? Good lad. Michael Nesbitt, how would I ask out a girl on a date who I've only met once? Okay, so you've met the girl. Just say to her, listen, I like you. I know it's odd, but do you think we can meet up again and maybe go for a date? Okay, just, just be yourself, be kind and casual. That's all you need. And hopefully, hopefully, she'll say yes. Or do a video like I did to Jenny called My Feelings. But make sure you've actually met her. Mason Constable, Coke or Pepsi? I've become a Pepsi man now. There's your answer. Pepsi is so much sweeter than Coke. I mean, I like the occasional Coke. But then Pepsi will always have this stronger taste in my heart. Because Pepsi's taste lasts more. It has a longer taste to it than Coke. And that's why I pick Pepsi. Gene Furness. How do you tame the tiger? Just go to any person and just be like, Grr, tame me, baby. Grr, tame that tiger. Rah! I don't know. It's just... It's, You've got to be in you, really. You either got it or you haven't got it. And I'm really running out of time. Well, I'm not running out of time, but I've got so many more questions to do. Okay. Um, next, uh, Jean, I don't under really understand your next question. How do women deal with PMs? Personal messages? I suppose they love it when a boy sends them a message. If he's fit or something, I don't know. I like to be a girl for a day just to see what's in their head. Kyle Whitworth, if you could dis uh, if you could be any type of furniture, what would you be and why? I would be a door because you get open quite a lot. You know, you're open. Is that no, that's not a piece of furniture. Um, dear, I'd be a chair because a lot or a sofa or a chair because people sit on you and you're actually being used. If you know what I mean, you're not just a piece of crappy furniture that's just there to look nice around the house. You're actually being used, so I'd be a chair. Steve Ruth, final question. Would would you let Simon Cow suck you off if he fixed Britain's Got Talent for you? Why did I answer this question? I don't know. No, I would not. A, he's 51 or whatever. B, I don't need the money because I'm just living my life at the moment. Right, thank you for listening to another grand packed episode of Ask Sam. These questions I will be answering in the next episode. Questions from Samir Mosselli and Kiara Conran. So if you're listening to the if so if you're listening to that guys, I will answer your questions next time, but I just don't have time at the moment. Thank you for watching. Take care.